These two sides met back in January, 2-0 Perth on that day, but the Phoenix certainly a far more difficult proposition than just a couple of months ago. The Wellington Phoenix, unsurprisingly, have stuck with the same lineup that had such great success against Sydney FC. The same starting lineup, meaning Emma Olsen again asked to lead the line, given another chance to score her first goal of the season. The only change is on the bench with fullback Claudia Chico coming back from young Matilda's duty, where she scored a hat trick playing as a winger. Chloe not again to skipper the side. For Perth Glory, they've made two changes to the side that went down two goals to one against Adelaide United where they surrendered a one goal to nil lead. The first change comes in goal with the experienced Sarah Langman replacing Aquino between the sticks. She will come in for her 10th start of the season. The other changes in midfield, Sarah Kane dropping to the bench and Ella Mr. Antonio coming in to midfield. The last time she played against the Wellington Phoenix, she saw red back in January alongside Phoenix forward Emma Rolston. Well, it's no surprise, though, that getting off the floor is the goal for the Phoenix coach, Natalie Lawrence. She admitted during the week that avoiding last place is a huge goal and added picking up points away to Sydney last weekend was simply huge for this team and praised her team's determined, resilient and professional attitude. We're here for the here and now, and the focus is on Wellington up against Perth. Glory joining me in co-commentary. Great to have uh, Katie Barrett alongside me. What are you expecting from this one? Yeah, thanks, Dan. I'm looking forward to watching a game where both teams are desperate to get the three points today for completely different reasons. Perth hoping to do everything they can do to keep their chances for a finals football alive, where the Wellington Phoenix have said, the record, or said, said on the record that the goal is absolutely to get off the bottom of the table today. It will be Perth wearing uh, all white and immediately into Wellington territory and have won themselves an early corner inside the opening 30 seconds. Phoenix are at home, but in their alternate strip of dark blue. Set pieces. So important, A, for the Phoenix when they go forward, but also quite the Achilles heel for them. Much has been made of the delivery of Foster and goals that have come from them, but they've had their problems keeping them out. Their first set piece is an unconvincing shouts of handball against Barry. The arms are waved and play on. All the way back to Langman and goal. Side of the area can settle things. Good start for Perth. This has it. Rare poor touch. It slides in dangerously and a late whistle. Not happy. asking her to probably control herself. She was in complete control. She might have got there first. Be interesting to see the replay. Yeah, she's gone in. Oh, I'm not too sure about that. She's gone in pretty aggressive for the ball and followed through and collected a little bit of player. Hannah Blake seems to be all right, which is the main thing. But Perth do have a set piece in a little bit of a dangerous area now. I've got a great sense of what type of tackler you were, Katie. Excellent. Full throttle. So, interesting position. There's plenty of numbers coming forward. For the Lowry. He's a real creative force. Three assists, three goals this season for the number eight. Mr. Antonio, yeah, the right footer, will deliver. It's a good ball, too. Marking header. Up, not away. It was a rugby who got on the end of it. Perth have the Phoenix hemmed in their own area in the opening 10. Up for letters. All is a disappointing end. Again, Phoenix passing into a bit of trouble. Just cannot get out of their own third. Foster, the header away. Mr. Antonio, nice touch. Lowry, just a step away from the challenge. As well to get back. Maintain this period of pressure. Western Australians have started the brighter, no doubt about it. More direct approach from the left flank. Mr. Carlos wants the ball back, but it's played to Lowry. Beautiful touch by Lowry. Shooting and scoring. A goal of pure class from the glory. 
they're on the board and it's taken just 10 minutes Henson nails it it's 1-0 yeah that's quite the finish from Perth I love the build up play I love the little set from Lowry into Henson who doesn't miss from there We'll just watch the replay here. Hinson looking to get on the ball. Oh, that's just a lovely set by Lowry. And she finishes well, bearing into the bottom corner. Not a whole lot Edwards can do with that finish. Good pass into Lowry from Mustard Antonio, too. They're up a goal. And often on the front foot. This ball from Anton to Lowry in the one touch pass. Player over at Rigby. Goes to the edge of the area, gets a ball in, and it's. I'm a shinned away by Van der Meer out for another corner. One of the grimace is the Phoenix soaking up a lot of pressure. Yeah, I really think Hannah Lowry's starting to take a little bit of control of this game. She's popping into good spaces, in between lines, laying the ball off and just doing an incredible job. And you can see why she's an Australian under-20 player. Yeah, very bright talent. To that under 20 World Cup in Costa Rica. Great ball and header straight down and over from Liz Anton. She's got good contact. You're supposed to keep it down. She's kept it, what, too far down? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a great clearance from a centre back if she's going the other way. Nice work from Satch. She's done that a few times. She's been slippery. And another player after Burner's on. Carol's across, not diving in. All the way to the edge of the area. Comes back onto a left foot and almost sneaks between the legs of Sarah Langman. Breathe easy, Sarah. It's okay. Almost a complete disaster here. I'm not sure if Satchel's shooting or passing, but it's caused enough chaos to almost cause an error there. But she's got there in the end and saved Perth for now. Not and has it combined to turn over position. Nicely done by Satchel once more. Delivery headed away. Vandermeer cushioned header to Foster. Yes, it had Sadie Lawrence tight to her. You see Perth come away with position and now come away with a free kick. Barry just a little nudge in the back. Yeah, robust challenge from Barry there. Look, I'd like to see Wellington Phoenix keep the ball in the attacking half a little bit longer. They're a pressing team, so at least if they lose the ball high up the pitch, they can do a little bit more of what they would call their identity in the attacking half and, and where it counts more. There's chest control from Carlos. There's one two with a left fullback. Now the ball into that dangerous area, but Blake's touch. Too strong, and Satchel can get across. What's an opening 22 minutes from Payne Satchel? Yes, she's been absolutely everywhere at the moment. She's been electric. I mean, I'd like to see her not having to do so much fullback work and a little bit more winger work, but hopefully they can start to release her soon. Good strength from Hinson. Cuts it back. Lowry will be disappointed with that. Just lent back a touch and she's scooped it rather than striking it cleanly. And you should probably say it should be two. Yeah, it's that Hinson and Lowry connection. Once again, she puts it on a plate for her and she's just had her shoulders leant back and meant it's gone over the bar, but you want to do a lot better there. She's satchel to a right wheel sheet. Plays her in. Wisniewski at the back post. Looming large, but the delivery painfully over the byline. And away for a goal kick and the swipe of the arm from Wisniewski. Real sign of frustration. Again, another example of good build-up play from the Wellington Phoenix. Just lacking the technical execution in and around the box to have a quality chance. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Couldn't win the turnover. And the Phoenix win the free kick as Wisniewski went down under challenge. That's for Antonio. Is it the old two hands up? The, I'm kind of sorry, but not sorry. Try that footballers around the world give officials. 
Yeah, I think that's a bit of a, I'm sorry, please don't give me a yellow card. I think Turf will be happy. Like you said, they haven't had a lot of possession, but they have had more shots than the Wellington Phoenix. And I think that's going to be the big thing going in at half time for both coaches is how do we finish off the chances that we've had if we're Perth or if we're the Wellington Phoenix? How do we create more quality chances? Don't forget attacking would be my message because Perth look very likely when they come forward. Get a second, get a third. Robertson, beyond the one added minute. In the hands of the referee. Headed away, finds Hassett. She controls, shoots, and nearly under the fingertips and through the legs of Langman, who does well enough. Exciting ends for the first half. Once more, it was from a foster ball in. Yeah, Hassett's done well to pounce on that. A little nutmeg against Anton, but the keeper's done well to see that and collect it into safe arms. So the whistle sounds. The end of the first half here on a gorgeous late afternoon. Lovely autumnal day in the capital. And the visitors from Western Australia, thanks to Hinson, got off to a brilliant start. They were excellent through the opening 15, 20 minutes and a goal of pure class has given them the lead. They lead at the half by one goal to nil. For the visitors from Western Australia, the glory have looked quite dangerous in that final third. Their passing accuracy in the first half, just 70%. They started so well. Phoenix grew into it. They were probably a little bit sloppy in possession. My message to them, not sure if you feel the same way, don't forget about attacking. There's a second out there for you. Yeah, I think so. They looked really assured in possession in the attacking third early on, and they've lost a little bit of that. So Hannah Lowry needs to keep combining with people the way she has. And if I'm Perth, I want to put this game to bed. Yeah, Lowry, we just saw on screen just a short time ago with hand covering her eyes. Centre circle, wonderful layoff to provide Hinson a path on goal. And her strike after 11 minutes in Perth. Some life and hope as far as finding a way to finals football in the Liberty A-League. They were down by seven points, of course, on Melbourne victory. Heading into the round, as luck would have it, Melbourne victory and Canberra United are playing at the very same time. I can tell you it was nil all at half time. So if that stays the same, Perth, Keep their noses in front. They'll limit the deficit to five points with three games to go. Here's a high foot shout. And Rolston. And Malice in it. Purely accidental. Rigby. Tough dusts herself off. She's fine. Yeah, Rolston just a little bit lazy. I think swinging at that ball. But Rigby's a tough skipper. She gets on with it pretty well. And Perth are just happy to have possession of the ball. Taylor finds not. She turns, looks forward. She did also in the later stages of that first half. Satchel now on the near touch line. Again, lovely sort of change of pace, keeping the defender on their heels. The final touch off Paige Satchel. There's a turnover from Perth. Walsy goes down under challenge. More gusto on the appeal from the Phoenix players on the field. And referee. Stern face not interested. Yeah, I think she surprised Carol with the touch there. She she does what a striker needs to do and try to go down and earn the penalty, but I think the referees made the right call there. Two from two on penalty shouts from my perspective. Not much going for it from the Phoenix fan. Satchel v Folletta. Folletta gets an important right footer and another corner coming. Foster to come across to take the second corner for the Wellington Phoenix. And the numbers inside that six yard box. No one 
observing social distancing in there. Here's a real scramble. And what a save. I think Langman's got down with the right hand to turn it around the post. That is simply superb. Yeah, big scramble there in front of goal. And it was Marisa Vandermeer, top set-piece scorer for the Phoenix. She gets a little toe at it. Keeper does well to get across. I don't know if she could have seen that, but that's a quality save from the keeper, and it's gone to another corner. Up, here's a header down into the greeting, waiting arms, gleeful arms of Langman. There's once more Taylor. Surely she wasn't going to get two and two. Better sustained pressure on the Phoenix. Better from Langman, finding for Letta. Lawrence gives it back to the left fullback. And good run from out to in by Blake, all behind her back. I think she's not going to win too many headers. She would be that tight to her. We've got a change coming. Wellington Phoenix look like they're going to make a change. Looks like Clegg will come on and Ralston comes out. So Clegg who's done a lot of work down the left-hand side. Be interesting to see what sort of change to the shape. Will she be asked to lead the line? 17-year-old on for a 13th game of the season. Down by Carroll to Felitta is quite high up the field, the left fullback. And whistle there. I've seen the two fullbacks on this near side come together on a couple of occasions. A good viewing. Play on. Free being consistent. Here's Hassa. Clegg making a run to a pocket of space. Lays it off to Robertson. Early ball. Almost got to Hassett. Oh, timely grazing header, I think, from Kim Carroll. 35 year old knows where to be more often than not, as I've just witnessed. Satchel shooting strongly, just wide. I think Langman had it covered at the near post, but that was struck with that real ferocity. Yeah, Langman's looked really confident in goal, but I like what I'm seeing from Paige Satchel here. We don't necessarily see that from her that often, so her driving inside and shooting from range. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Threaded ball through, played by Taylor. Robinson's layoff just away from not who was on her heels. You've got the Phoenix centre back playing centre forward at time. Robinson beats the first, goes down under challenge. Rigby's arguing, what on earth is she doing there? And play on. In goes Taylor, and we've got a whistle. Look at that time in possession in the second half. 68% to the Phoenix, but yet to make Perth pay. But they'll get another set-piece opportunity here as Rigby following through the challenge on Taylor. Lehman clearly the busier of the two keepers. Six saves. Perth without a shot this half. Focused on defence. Foster delivers. Oh, and has it arrived near post run. Couldn't keep it down, made very good contact. Lovely link up. No, and you know these set pieces from Foster will always lead to a chance on goal. Has it's got up the glancing header, but she's just not quite hit the right part of her head to get it on target and below the crossbar. Vincent Show, good strength, good ball control too. No whistle. Perth wanted it, deserved it, I thought. Indeed, and a card comes out. I didn't see that. Well, I thought a clear foul. Vincent. Yeah, Chloe Knott doesn't look too happy. Wants an explanation from the referee. Both sets of coaches looked like they were appealing for the foul. I'm not too sure what I've seen. 
I'm not too sure what I would make the decision. That's a what foul. do you think, Dan? That's a foul. Tug of the jersey. Once. She's impeded Hinson, who's, who's rolled goal side. See, well, us New Zealanders can be objective from time to time. To those watching in Australia, don't expect it a lot. And Satchel is off. And greeted warmly by Natalie Lawrence. And I'm not surprised she's come off. What a shift she has put in. Talk about willing. Full of running. Full of threat. Unfortunately for the Phoenix and Satchel. Lacking the end product today. That's a very positive performance overall. Delivery from Lowry. And the set place is cleared up and now away. So Pritchard is on. So Clegg might move to the right hand side. Lowry. Desperation to come back and track Hassett. Hassett so good strength and earning the foul. I think we're going to see consecutive yellow cards. Well, clearly holding the left arm of Hassett for a long time. Good work again by the Phoenix. Quickly closing space, running position back. Fans urging them forward. Hassett's there. Second attempt. Picks a path. Near post header away by Pritchard. What an introduction that would have been, fortunately, for Pritchard. No instant intact. No, and I like the way she checked her run in the box. Hassett does well, gets her eyes up. Really good to get back on the ball there. Plays the ball into Pritchard, and gosh, that would have been a start. Here is the right side of wing back. Chico's got some space to run into. Finds Clegg. Lazakis on her. She does well to roll her near side. Fight to win him. Can the Phoenix get a toe on it? It's scrambled away. It's pinballing around. And the glory survive. The best chance probably falling to Betsy Hassett. And unfortunately, I think Winham has sustained some injury and her reaction. Is something you hate to see. Out of a player who feels like she's done something quite significant. And it looks like the left knee is bent rather awkwardly. Taylor. Ball needs to be good. It is towards the back post, but arriving Chico. Just an in-between bounce. Wanted it more on the half volley. Bounces up off the thigh, and that surely is it now. There were a couple of penalty shots from Pritchard, I think. Or oh, maybe it was Clegg. Nothing in there. Langman sends the ball upfield. The final whistle sounds. And the Perth Glory starting this game so brightly to take a well-earned lead in the 11th minute have ended it holding on. The Phoenix pushing and pushing and pushing. Just could not find that moment of class. And the Glory keep their finals hopes alive. Winning here in the capital by the solitary goal. The Wellington Phoenix nil, Perth Glory 1.